And we are right on the doorstep of earnings. I spoke with Oracle CEO Mark Hurd earlier. I sat down yesterday with him to discuss the U.S. and European economies, why Oracle is buying back so much stock, and where he sees growth now, because we are on the doorstep of earnings. And I wanted to get a sense from him about the international slowdown that we're talking about. But we began with NetSuite, Oracle's investment in the applications market as well. Tell us what you're getting from your customers this week there in Las Vegas and about NetSuite. Sure. Thanks, Maria. Um, yeah, you're right. I mean, we've invested a lot in, in the applications market. Uh, we've invested in big and small um, uh, segments of the market, big customers and, and small customers. We acquired NetSuite, gosh, I don't know, probably about two and a half years ago now. And uh, it's really been an amazing success. To your point, there's, you know, I don't know, well, less than 10,000, but roughly that uh, number of customers here uh, for our event. Um, it is uh, very exciting. We, uh, when we bought NetSuite, Maria, uh, the company was growing about 15, 16 percent in revenue. Um, we've invested a lot in, in R&D. We've invested a lot in, in, in tailoring the, app, the application for more industries. We've added uh, salespeople, um, and it's resulted in just incredible growth. Um, starting really about a year ago, so about a year into the acquisition, we began to really grow our bookings, and that's now translated to revenue. So last quarter, we reported revenue that was almost double the revenue growth we had coming into the acquisition. Yeah, I mean, you're seeing it in the numbers. The applications business is soaring right now at Oracle as your customers move from on-premise to cloud. Take us behind the curtain there. What kind of companies are moving from on-premise to cloud? How do you continue getting them to switch over into the Oracle cloud? And, and how significant is this in terms of the applications business at Oracle? Uh, there's a couple of phenomena going on at the same time. The applications market is about $125 billion uh, per year. That's spent primarily on applications, and you're exactly right. Most of it today is spent on on-premise uh, applications. That market changes, though, pretty significantly as it moves to cloud. Because as it moves to cloud, the subscription you pay for the cloud includes not only the application, but it includes all the hardware, if you will, the servers, the, the uh, storage. Uh, and so it becomes a bigger market just by the very nature of the migration uh, of the application to, to SaaS. Now, inside that $125 billion, about $70 billion, $75 billion is back office. That would be described as, uh, you know, things like general ledger accounting and supply chain and procurement and HR, and the other uh, 25 to 30 percent is front office, more like sales automation, marketing automation. NetSuite has played in the sort of mid-market, smaller customer size of that back office market, and it's had explosive growth. And so when you ask who's moving, it's really everybody from the biggest guys, um, whether those be as big as a, an AT&T on, on an extreme, and I could go through many others, to your smallest startup. Are you trying to get this applications of companies to move just to the Oracle cloud, or are you, are you trying to get all applications to move to the cloud, or are you just looking at the Oracle portions of the business? How do you grow this even more is really the bottom line. Yeah. So if you look today, half of the um, cloud application customers we have were roughly, or half of our revenue, that's a better way to describe it, came from our base, and about half came from outside. I see.